Hey folks, Bob Mandel here with Holding the Line Guide Service. Today I want to do a video showing you how to use your side imaging on your Hummingbird unit to locate targets to the left or right of your boat, then use your cursor to mark those targets, and then send your Minn Kota trolling motor to park you over top of those targets using the spot lock function. So there's three necessary components to this system. The first is a iPilot Link equipped trolling motor. Okay, I want you to look here. This clearly says iPilot, but then more importantly here up to the right is the word Link. Only the iPilot Link models will communicate with your sonar unit. The second thing to notice is the Bluetooth sig signal here. That indicates that this was manufactured in or after 2017. Those trolling motors manufactured in or after 2017 have a much more precise GPS positioning software in them than pre-2017 models. Okay, that's the first component. We're gonna go back now to the console and look at the other two components. Okay, the second component is a Humminbird sonar unit. Um, this is a Solix 15, which is down imaging and side imaging capable. Some of the Helix units are also capable of using the iPilot link system. The third component in the system is my handheld remote. A lot of bass anglers especially put this in some compartment in their boat and then never think about it again. That's a real mistake. This is a very powerful tool that can help you be uh, very hands-free. And as you'll see here in a minute, is critical in positioning uh, while you're at the console and viewing targets on side imaging. So what I'm gonna do is crank up now and I've uh, pre-located an automobile on the bottom of the lake. You're going to see it here on the screen shortly. I'm going to place a cursor on top of that by simply touching the screen. If you don't have a touch screen, then you can use your four arrow keypad to place your cursor on the target. Okay, so this automobile is a 1960s era automobile. It has a big trunk, a big hood, a big passenger compartment, and it's going to appear here on the right hand side of my screen. Okay, that is the automobile. Now I'm intentionally going to go several yards beyond it. Okay, so this entire time you see it moving towards the bottom of the screen, I've had the boat in forward gear. Now, I'm going to do my initial cursor placement by hand, and I intentionally missed a little bit. I included some inaccuracy so I can show you how to fine tune this. I can use my joystick to move that slightly right, downward, and right again, so I'm on the center of mass of that target. Now, I'm going to hit go to and look at my options. The option I'm interested in is the spot lock option. Notice it's in white, which means it is selectable. If my trolling motor was not yet deployed, that would be in gray and would not be selectable, but my trolling motor is deployed. So what I'm gonna do now is lift this slightly higher so you can see the trolling motor's response. I'm gonna hit spot lock and at the same time turn my outboard off. So you can see that all of the maneuvering now is being done by the trolling motor. Now, once the trolling motor has us underway, I can come back down and hit the X button, getting rid of my cursor so that now my screen is viewing uh, under the boat in real time. 
Next is the third component here. As you can see, my handheld remote is giving me a green bullseye and it's giving me a countdown to the target. In this case, 60, now 55, now 50, now 45, 40, and so on. That's how many feet we have to go until we reach the target. Now, when we reach the target, it's the trolling motor shaft that is going to be centered over the target. So if you're in a 22 foot bass boat and you're gonna fish off the back, you're gonna be about 22 feet away from your target. On the other hand, if you're on that 22 foot bass boat and you're standing up on the front deck and you're vertical jigging right next to the shaft of your trolling motor, then you're going to be vertical jigging right over your target. Okay. Now, I did this demonstration using side imaging. This exact same set of button pushes and this exact same feature can be used in a down imaging screen by simply touching on a target that appears and then zooming in very precisely with your cursor. I'll change over now. And if you were to touch your 2D and saw targets directly underneath your boat, you can touch on the uh, 2D screen and do likewise. So I hope that's helpful. If uh, I can be of service to you, give me a shout at 254-368-7411. Bob Maindell with Holding the Line Guide Service in Central Texas at 254-368-7411.